Good morning. This is Navy Old Salt Gamer. I just wanted to show um, how to recover your save games. This has happened to me three times with Stationers where it locks up saving a game. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, the cloud, Stationers cloud. Sometimes it's very slow and when it's very slow, when it tries to save to it, it'll lock up. I have uh, the cloud turned off for stationers and it hadn't happened since I did that until yesterday. So one of the reasons I didn't post a game yesterday is because um, I lost all my save games. But I was man I managed to recover it again and I wanted to show people how to do that just in case because there isn't anything online except for a couple text explanations that may or may not work. Now keep in mind I have um, my stationer's uh, cloud updates turned off. I don't think that matters. You may, if you have yours turned on, you may have to do this same process that I'm showing you here on the cloud. I don't know if it matters or not, but um, I, I, I would recommend turning off the cloud update. And you can do that by right clicking on stationers in your game list and properties, I believe it's in there, but you'll look around and you can find it. So, now your games are saved unless you've changed the location. This is the default location. It's on your PC minus C drive. Um, I have the game on D drive, but it still saves everything on C drive. Uh, users, your name, documents, my games, and then you double click on stationer. So, uh, under saves, this is where the issue happens, and this is what happened here. I had to open another Mimos map because for some reason it locked up. But if you click on the last save that you did before you had the problem, and it, it'll be here, it'll be in this save document, but it won't load in, in, in uh, Steam because the last save game is corrupted. So, say my last save game was corrupted, and this is Miss Episode 8 I was working on. Okay. You see these, this file, that file, and that file are the ones you're looking at. Um, you want to very carefully, and I did it this way, I went to the backup file, and I'll go down to the bottom. I see these world meta, it saves multiple copies of it. And this is all your backup. When you get to the list of load games, these are all the ones that you can go back to uh, in your history. So you want to go to the last one. And the one that I had the problem with yesterday uh, probably won't be here. Now that was last night after I got it fixed. And that's the one I had to default back to, I think. Yeah, looks like it. But anyway, you want to take, and I'll go ahead and do it. You want to ignore the last one. It's corrupted. So you want to go to the one before it. And you want to copy. Copy. Come on. No. Copy. What's going on here? My mouse is acting up. There we go. So you want to copy it. And I'll just do it and delete it. But you want to copy that. Go back up. Now you can paste it here because it has a number by it. So if you paste it, now you have a word, a world meta and a world meta 585. So now I'm not going to do it because I don't want to screw anything up. But you can delete the world meta, which is the latest one, which will be corrupted. Delete that, and then rename this world meta after you delete that. And I'm going to delete that world meta because I don't want to screw anything up. But then you do the same thing for world. So you go to the backup. And if you come down a little up a little further, you'll see there's a file just named world, not world meta. You want to go backwards until it becomes world. Now there's two files here that you want to copy. You want to, again, ignore the, the last two because they're corrupted. Something is corrupted in these. You want to come to... Uh, 585, which should be the same one, yeah, but 584. And if you go to world, 
Philosophy 584. This is the previous save that is not corrupted. So you want to copy both of those, and do it the same way, and then go up here and paste it, and you'll have world 584 or whatever your number is, and also the bin file world 584. And you want to paste those in here. And then you want to delete the old ones. So you delete the world, uh, the two files that are world, and then rename the world 584 to just world in both cases. Now this part's updated. Now it's still going to have the corrupt file in here. So now you want to go down and you want to delete the latest corrupt file. So you can just right click on that and delete it. Uh, you want to delete anything that says 585, which would be corrupted. So then you want to delete these two. And then that should fix the problem. You may also, and you'll see that in my stationer's load here. If I go to library home, if I load that, you see it says synchronizing cloud. I have it turned off. I don't know why it's doing that. It's turned off. And I, I do that in here. It, I have synchronized the cloud turned off, but it's still trying. And see how it hangs? Sometimes this takes 30 seconds to a minute. And it might just be my area. But this is a pain. When you're sa trying to save a game while it's running, this is what locks it up. And while it's doing that, it may interrupt this. But if you go to, uh, it's either manage or properties. I think it's properties. Yeah. Um, updates. Oh, my demand right there. Steam Cloud. See, I have it turned off. But it still tries to do it. I don't know why. Um, and it just hangs. It, it'll just sit here. And sometimes, you know, I'll go into the kitchen, get something to drink, come back, and it still hangs. And it doesn't happen like this all the time, but this is a perfect example of what is wrong with stationaries. There it goes, finally. It, it finally cleared. So now it's going to start loading. But if I go in here, it's going to take a while to load all this. I have a pretty good computer, but uh, I love how this goes up to a higher number and then comes back down. <laughs> it's been doing that since I bought the game. Oh well. But uh, hold on, it'll be a few seconds. Sometime today. Sometime today. Here we go. I don't know why the music's so loud. Wow. Wonder if my settings got changed. It could very well be. I'll have to go in and change my settings. But see now, there's that. Wow, that's loud. I gotta fix that. I guess my settings got nuked when I restarted it. Audio. Yeah, they did. Thank you. <laughs> okay. See, this is the game. I just made a, a fake game. And I went in and I saved it. And then I deleted those files. Because somebody said you have to make another game in that world to regenerate the world map. Um, and I did that. And then I deleted those corrupt files like I showed you. And then everything came back. So... If the game locks up while you're saving, and you come in to restart it the next day, and all this is blank, everything was gone, all of it was blank, the, the key is to go back to, and I didn't want to do that, I closed it by accident, um, let me pause it for a second. Okay, I wanted to pause it, because, you know, under, it has my name under Steve. I mean, I don't care if you know I'm Steve, there's lots of Steve's, but it has my first and last name, so I didn't want to broadcast that to the whole internet. Uh, but, again, I went to this, this uh, my PC, 
it's on C on my drive. User Steve documents my games, stationers, and then you just follow, go into saves. You just follow the procedure that I just showed you. Um, call up your last save, get into the backup, copy. Now your last save time. It, it, I remembered the last save time because I, I saved it, and then we immediately tried to go back in. I don't remember exactly why, but my save time was 3:02 p.m. So I knew anything that was 3:02 on. If you look at that little box where it says 9:59, that's how long it took me to fix it. Six hours. That's why I made this video. <laughs> but uh, um, anything that is on your last save time is corrupted, and it's three files: World Meta 585 or whatever the last number is, world 585, now these are good, the bin document world 585, or whatever your last number is again, you copy the one in front of that, the good one, the last good save, so if your number is 5, you would want to do number 4, you copy and paste that into that folder like I showed you at the beginning, then you come back and you delete world meta 5, the bad corrupt files and you would delete world meta 5 and these two world files and then restart the game and magically everything reappears so I hope that's helpful it should be the same for all the games but um, I wanted to share that because it's happened to me three times I don't know if it's something I, I kind of live out uh, in the country maybe my internet, I have a, a really good internet um, set up uh, I have Comcast, that's the only one I can get unfortunately but I have the better internet so I don't think it's that but it could be something you know being out in the country transmission lines or whatever but uh, there you go if you log in after your computer hangs up and all your save games are gone there's the answer and uh, we'll stop that here again it's the Navy Old Salt Gamer so if you find this helpful uh, like and subscribe and I will do my normal video um, in a few minutes